This video is brought to you by the all new Zion Tech Smooth XS. Alrighty. Are we going for the kids' pancakes with the sprinkles on top? Or are we going for a classic bacon and egg bracky? Morning guys and welcome back to Broome. We've had the most relaxing morning. We started off by going and having brunch at our favourite little brunch spot. It is called the Dragonfly Cafe. Definitely recommend getting the popcorn fritters. They are so good. And then we found out on Saturdays here in Broome they actually have a farmer's market on. And what did I pick up? What did you convince me to get? I'm blaming you for this purchase. I may have uh, got her another hat. It was too cute. And what else did we get you, Bubba? I love how this is hat number three and I'm pretty sure she's not 100% <laughs> sure she... <laughs> yeah, she likes hats. And we also got her some reusable swimmers because we didn't want to keep using like the throw out swimmers. So we got her these little ones. How cute. And they got little Australian flowers on them. But are you ready for another day? Another beach? Another chill? What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. Hi. <laughs> Oh, I love it. You're just trying to make hats happen. <laughs> she will like them soon. There you go. <laughs> he sneezed your hat off. So, you can't come out to the Kimberleys without going down at least one red dirt road. And this red dirt road has led us to one of the most epic cliff sides that we have ever seen. Well, I know that Look it seems at cool. that view. Cause I've been living on my own. I've been trying to outrun you. But I can't leave you. Guys, welcome to James Price Point. This right here has been on our bucket list for the longest time and I cannot believe we are finally out here. It's an hour drive just outside of Broome and oh my goodness, these amazing red cliffs against the blue, blue ocean. I've, I've never seen anything like it. Like this is when you know you're in the Kimberley, when they have amazing places like this. This looks like Australia meets like the Jurassic Coast. You got these incredible cliff sides, these sheer drop cliffs that have just been formed into such incredibly unique and beautiful cliff sides. You could even grab your car, drive down, camp on the beach. This, the colors here, the blue meets the red is so incredible. But I'm told you'll come again. Don't leave me hanging here alone. Um, Adam, I think you've been spoiled with all these sunsets we've been getting. <laughs> you just care about your foot, not the sunset, do you? <laughs> <laughs> She's also been practicing uh, blowing bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all the milestones while we travel. And I feel so far from home In the streets of London, hey they look nothing like my own Cause So we couldn't miss our final sunset here in Broome. I do think Broome is one of the best sunset spots in the world. I feel like it's Broome and Greece. So we've come down to Ganthian Point for our final sunset. No, we got that quick. <laughs> we've got like a minute left and I think we just made it. Oh, look at it. We've got like a centimetre left of it. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Oh, bye broom. <laughs> that was a rush to get that last sunset, <laughs> but it was there worth it. it. There it is, it's dropping right now. Bye bye. Bye son. So take me back to where I believed you. Where there was nothing left to know. Take me home. Oh, you went and got back up. She's sleeping. How did I just miss Papa? Papa! Did you miss her? Oh, she just... Oh, oh I know that too soon. She just broke up. Oh! <laughs> 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 
she's so sleepy. All right, guys, so we are back from Broome. This one did so good. She's such a little adventurer, but she's off to bed now. Say bye-bye, everyone. Good night. <laughs> she ya. I was quite nervous for some reason during her second flight, but she did so well. She ended up sleeping the entire time. And a couple of tips that I definitely learnt from traveling on a plane with a newborn is firstly, I recommend feeding during takeoff and landing. I feel like it helped with her ears. Well, she didn't cry. And a lot of people say that that could help pop their ears so I don't know if it helped but she didn't cry so I'm guessing that could be a good idea another thing is that Hunter always sleeps in a little sleep sack so I brought it with me and when it was time for nap time I actually put her in the sleep sack and then she fell asleep and I think it helped her like stick to her routine and realize oh, okay it's sleep time I'm in my sack I'm gonna sleep so that really helped as well but a lot of you asked me to share what I packed Hunter for when we went on our trip and I was actually gonna show you guys before we left and then once I packed I realized this is the first time I'm ever packing with a newborn so I probably should show you guys after the trip to make sure I actually used everything, which I did. So I'm going to show you what I packed. So firstly, I definitely think I packed less than I was expecting. Like when you think, oh baby, you're going to have to pack all this stuff. But maybe because she's so small still, she doesn't really need a lot of toys or entertainment. That when I did pack, I was like, oh, it's not really that much. So it didn't take up much room in our luggage. But the first thing was her clothes. So I had a rule because I love dressing up Hunter. And so I said, okay, I'm allowed to bring as many clothes as I want for Hunter as long as it all fits into one packing cube. So this was my hunter packing cube and I managed to fit like 30 to 35 outfits which I know sounds a lot but babies do get messy and we were there for nine days so I think she ended up going through most of her outfits and the type of outfits that I packed for her because Broome is like quite a hot place and I decided to pack things that were quite easy and simple for her to wear. So a lot of these little t-shirts and short little sets so a lot of them I got from either By Billy or Oak and Acorn they're my two favorite stores for these like little sets so these little shorts and these tops so cute that's from by billy and then these are from oak and acorn so cute so i packed like maybe 10 different sets like this i then packed quite a few jammies and a lot of people ask me where i get my jammies from which is from peter alexander and they do a lot of like matching sets if you wanted to match your pjs with your baby which i think is quite cute so these are kind of the type of jammies that i brought her so like little long legged pants with jumpers i seem to dress hunter more in sets rather than onesies for some reason i just find them easier there and then I did bring some onesies so I brought these ones from by Billy I think I brought three and they're just different easy colors so if it was really hot she could chill in this or at night time she could just sleep in this if it was hot and I also brought her some onesies like this this one's from Oak and Acorn as well so it was just a bunch of those and then for her swimmers because Hunter loves to swim I ended up bringing a couple this is our favorite I got it from Seed and we actually bought this before Hunter was born and we always like couldn't wait for her to come because then we could see her in this little swimmers and this was finally the holiday we got to see her wearing this it was so cute so yeah I brought a bunch of swimmers so that's basically the clothes that I brought and yes they all fit in the packing cube so I think that's like a good rule is that if you have a packing cube you're like okay I can bring whatever clothes I want for the baby as long as it fits in this one thing so I did that we just wanted to say a huge thank you to Zion Tech for partnering up with us on this video plus they sent us a couple of their brand new smooth excess gimbals so if you stay towards the end I might be giving away one of these to you guys the Smooth XS Foam Gimbal can comfortably tuck away into your backpack and has a bunch of really cool features, like their instant transition between landscape and portrait mode if you're wanting to make an Instagram story or TikTok. Hey guys, so today I'll be making my famous Satay Thai Ramen. But my favorite feature has to be the moving time lapse, which is so simple to set up. Oh, and if your hands get full, don't worry, you can easily get the gimbal to track your movement so you can focus on the cooking. Oh, and of course this is a phone gimbal stabilizer, so it can keep your shots nice and smooth. So to say thank you so much to you guys for being so supportive, I'm going to give away one of our spare gimbals right here. All you have to do is check out the Zalantech link below, and if you are subscribed to our weekly coop newsletter, I'm going to pick one of you guys at random and announce it in the next weekly coop. Thanks so much guys, now back to the vlog. For my nappy bag, I actually packed this in my big check-in luggage and then I just took it out and then used it during the trip because on the plane for my carry-on, we had so much camera gear, like all our cameras and our laptops, so I had my big camera backpack and in there I just put nappies and things for the plane. But this is what I use during like every day, going out and exploring with Hunter. So this one is by Fawn Design, I really like it. So this is the small one and then actually right here I've got a big one. Ta -da! So I just brought the small one. I 
feel like it's like good enough for travel that you can fit everything. And the things that I carried around with me was first of all a changing mat. So this is by Gather and I really like it because it's, um, it's like a fake leather and then you can wipe it down clean and it's so small and compact so you can actually fold it straight back up and pop it in your bag. I also just got nappy wipes, nappies, a dummy if she needs it. Hunter isn't like the biggest fan of dummies but just say if she's like really really tired and we're out and she can't get herself to sleep sometimes this helps so I just bring that. Her one toy that she has which is called Benjamin. So Benjamin came along she absolutely loves this. I'll leave a link down below. I got this on Amazon and if you have like a newborn baby and you're trying to implement I guess their first toy this is so good because again they really like black and white. It's got the crinkle sound you can like lift it up and there's a little surprise. There's a mirror, there's a rattle, a squeaker, and a chew toy. So everything in one little compact thing for travel, I find really good and she loves this. And she's only just started playing with toys and watching her grab it and like try and put it in her mouth is so cute. So I love this. And also Hunter likes to sleep with a sound machine. And when we're out and about, if she needs to fall asleep, we bring a little like travel sound machine. So it makes like this sound, just the sound of the ocean and hearing that sound helps her fall asleep. So we, um, we brought our little travel sound machine and that's it. So this all fits in this bag and it's quite like I like it because it's kind of stylish and it doesn't really look like a nappy bag but secretly inside it's just all stuff for your baby. That I recommend bringing along. I also brought her a blanket. So this is the blanket at home. It's been her blanket since she was born so I had to bring this along with us but just in case this got a bit too hot for her I also brought one swaddle. So it's really lightweight. I was able to use it as well to put over the pram if it was really sunny or she needed to sleep and to darken the pram while we were out. Um, so I just brought one and I can't believe it actually stayed clean. This one is so nice. It's got like watercolor little rainbows on it and it is by Joey and Pup and they do really cute swaddles. So I recommend checking those out. Also for Hunter's sleep at night, we use sleep sacks for her. So because it's dangerous to put blankets on babies just in case in the middle of the night it goes over their face, she sleeps in this sleep sack. And I actually got a lot of people asking me about this. It's by Ergo Pouch. And um, this is like the newborn size. It goes up to zero to three and she's about to grow out of this. And I'm like, oh my gosh, Hunter is getting so big. But yeah, it basically zips and then you pop her in and then you zip it up and then she's all nice and swaddled and warm for the night. And it's kind of like a sleep sleeping cue. So once I put her in this, she knows it's sleep time. So I brought this and she used this every night when she went to bed. And then I also brought, even though I have the travel sound machine, that's battery operated and I didn't want to use up all the batteries. So then at night time, I did bring her proper sound machine that you plug in. I put it in the room every night. So I did bring this as well. Speaking of sleep, I'll also show you the travel cot that I brought and the pram. <laughs> I've got an audience. So this is Hunter's travel cot. It's a baby beyond travel cot and it is so good. I definitely recommend if you're traveling with a baby, first get them to take a couple of naps in it while you're at home because then they kind of get used to it and then they see it as one of their beds. And because of that, while we were away, we did nine nights and she slept through the night every single night in this. So it is amazing. And I wanted to show you how easy it is to pack it away. So you first, there's like these little red hooks. So you just have to unhook those first. And they're kind of to just hold the mattress in place. Yeah. So that's, this is probably the most annoying bit out of the whole thing. You just take out the mattress, turn it upside down. This is Steven's job. So hopefully I can do it. Oh yeah. Let's see how you <laughs> I've go. I've watched you do it a few times and then you just pull it and push down. Hey, so you just pull the legs out and then they all, and it looks kind of big on camera, but it's super compact. Like I would not say it's that big. I think it weighs six kilos. And it's free to check in on the airport, so, uh, on the airplane. So it doesn't even like count towards. Well, the... probably depends on the airline, right? Hey, Baba. I really should have got you to demonstrate, <laughs> but I'm doing it. You're doing good. I'm doing it. And then doesn't it go here? Goes in there. And then this goes like this. And then you just pop it in your bag. She's uh, very into a book right now. <laughs> Very into a book and very much wanting a nap. <laughs> we need to put it asleep. <laughs> but once it's in there, you just zip it up. Like it's so compact. That's why I love it. And it easily like fits in your boot of your car, like your rental car or whatever you're traveling with. Or if you're going like on a road trip or going camping. I feel like these would, this would be really helpful, but I did it myself, Steve. Good work. So there it is. All compact, ready to go. And then the other thing we brought was our pram. And a lot of you guys ask us what pram we have. It's a Baby Zen yo-yo pram and it is amazing. We actually brought this on the plane and it went in the overhead. It went in the overhead compartment. It has this little handle so you can just carry it around and it is so easy. You're just like, oh, I'm off the plane. I need to put Hunter in there. All right. 
done. Like how good is it? And it is so small and compact. Like if we were going to cafes when we're traveling, it looks so small. Like we always get people coming up to us being like, oh my gosh, your pram is so small, especially because you can do this. So to see if you're sitting at a cafe, it's like having this like little bed right next to you. So you could just pop it asleep, enjoy your food. I really love it. Hunter loves it too, don't you? Do me to your book. And the last thing we packed is one thing we didn't use, and that is a carrier. Hunter is one of those babies that wants to look out, but she's too young at the moment to go in a carrier facing forward at the moment because of her age. She can only face in, and she does not like that. So I brought it just in case, but she was not into it, so I have to wait till she's older, and then I'll bring it again on a trip. But this is the one that I do have if anyone is interested. It is by Zarpa Baby. Bebe or something. I'll uh, put the links all down below of everything that I brought. But um, this is carrier I did bring, but unfortunately I didn't use it, which is very sad. But yeah, I hope you found that helpful. If you have any other questions about what to bring when you're traveling with a newborn or about flying with a newborn, leave them in the comments below and I'm happy to answer any of those. Come say goodbye. She's still not asleep. So I could hear her. <laughs> okay. She would just listen I to all the fun. Oh, okay. I just waffled their brains out. Oh, well, hopefully it's super helpful for you guys. Yeah, I hope so. This one's just interesting. Oh, I'm back in my nursery. Oh, you're back home, Baba. Did you like broom? <laughs> I, think she did. I think she liked the pool the most. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video and the whole series. Let us know which was like your favorite spot that we went to, whether it was like the eco beach place right on the beach or if it was the little tent we stayed at. That was pretty cool. Okay, it's definitely bedtime. Oh, okay. Right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you are new around here, hit subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.